And we're going to do a waltz at this time. Uh, it's one we've done here before, but uh, we hope you'll enjoy it. It's one called uh, Midnight on the Water. <laughs> There are still places like this, places where the work of nature is itself a masterpiece. These are the Ozarks, where dripping springs and rushing waters and gentle ridges and narrow hollows help define a place where life is celebrated. It was a hard place to settle, but the Ozark pioneers came anyway. They came from Ireland and Scotland and Germany, and in the 1800s, they settled the place that would become Stone County, Arkansas. They lived in isolation, lived by their hard labor, their ingenious crafts, and they lived with their music. They were common people with an uncommon love for the Ozark way of living. There is still a place where the Ozark way is a way of living. A place where culture and values and the old ways are preserved. Where wealth is measured by the enjoyment of life and what it offers. A place where self-reliance and the craftsmanship is reflected in the hands of people who find joy in the way it used to be. No one had to create this old time place. It was already here. The only need was to build a park where the Ozark way of life could go on. Such a place is the Ozark Folk Center State Park. The Ozark Folk Center State Park has as, as its mission the preservation and presentation of the Ozark way of life, its history, its culture, its music, and its very strong craft traditions. The Ozark Folk Center is a 700-acre Arkansas State Park in Mountain View, Arkansas the heart of Stone County and the heart of the Ozark Mountains. It's a showcase for the old ways and sounds. The music is original and unplugged. Every night, they come to listen. They ride the tram up our Ozark hillside to a theater where old sounds find new appreciation. The music that you see on our stage, the music that you see around Mountain View, actually is the kind of music that would have been played on a Saturday night when folks got together to just enjoy themselves and entertain themselves. The way the music is learned up here is in the oral tradition, passed down from generation to generation. In fact, many of the musicians that perform here at the Folk Center, as well as is around town, are third, fourth generation musicians. It was the only form of entertainment they had. Um, they would get together on the court square, at home, at church, to play music for the love of the music. These are not professionals, but rather they, they play because they love the music. Music is played just about everywhere, including formal shows Monday through Saturday from April to October in this 1,000-seat auditorium. The musicians are either locals or special guests. And the dancers, well, they're neighbors and visitors. Jig dancing or the kids on stage is, a, is part of the audience participation. Um, not only are the craftsmen and the musicians part of what the Folk Center is all about, the people that come visit is part of what we're all about. It's easy to see, 
easy to hear why the Ozark Folk Center is a people place. It's the music, it's the people, and the scenery, and we just love it. It's great. No other place like it. We enjoy it, and it's uh, good entertainment, good clean entertainment, and we like it. Oh, it don't get no better than that. <laughs> it's people music. You can't hear that music and not pat your foot. Can you? It's music that was played because people wanted to play it and wanted to hear it, not because they thought they'd make a profit off of it. Now that's centered. I'm going to pull out the floor. More than two dozen crafts are demonstrated each day on the Folk Center grounds. And what is made is also for sale. But the prices are affordable. But it's the same way that the folk potters used to make their pots. They had a wheel. This is a treadle wheel. You'll find craftsmen indoors and outdoors. There are craftsmen who use draw knives for making barrels. And craftsmen who use a printing press, foot powered, of course. There's a music shop and a basket shop. You can watch candles being made or make one yourself. Cornhusk dolls can stir a child's imagination or bring back memories. Good wood and a sharp knife brings out the wood spirits. And there are the hard metal skills, like blacksmithing. We call them all crafts today, but make no mistake, they were once survival skills. The period that, that is recreated here on the craft demonstration forum is the period from about 1820 to 1920. The skills, the techniques, the tools that are used were the kinds of things, the crafts, the trades, that people had to be able to do or know how to do in order to survive here in the mountains. We didn't have lots of local stores. Craft is kind of a luxury now, but when people made brooms like the turkey wings, they, they did it because they had to have it. The harsher part of Ozark life is shared as well. The one-room schoolhouse is less romantic when viewed from a hard wooden bench. This is a little bit rough to what most of them were, but this was a, well, about the usual, usual size, and some of them a little bit, one or two a little smaller. But the fun times are what we mostly share. These are time walkers, and they competed with a barrel hoop and a stick for entertainment at recess. And folks, don't be fooled. It will cure every single one of these things, particularly the rubles and the gastritis female complaints. The old medicine show is a part of this living demonstration as well. <laughs> And always there is the music and the dancing. It happens almost everywhere. Fiddles, banjos, mandolins, dulcimers. The instruments were all homemade. The music from memory with a little on the spot creation added now and then. Visitors find it worth coming back for, even 20 years later. When we lived in Arkansas, uh, came down here with my dad and family and brothers and thought it was great as a kid. Scott Hartzell remembered the folk center that he and his brothers found. Now it is important that his own sons learn the same lessons. I think it's really important to keep the tradition going and uh, remind us where our roots were, to be honest with you. And uh, having a, a folk center like this keeps that culture alive, and uh, I love it. Rosemary's a good friend of mine, and you can feel the sticky resin on it. That's the you can learn, too, about nature, about how the Ozark settlers turn plants into healing. A buckeye that you might put in your pocket to keep away bad luck and to keep away the rheumatiz. This is the Heritage Herb Garden. You might call it the Mountain Pharmacy. Here are cures and vitamins and things that just sound good. Just for a little onion flavor, sprinkle that. 
See, pansies and chives? Mmm, good combination. Learning about plants, learning about life. You can learn here at this park to pound iron or weave baskets. You pick a craft and they will make you a course. Or you can learn to play, come for a dulcimer workshop one weekend. Or you can learn to dance. And you can sit back and learn to enjoy a music that has survived the test of time. Just because the old ways were hard doesn't mean you will rough it on your visit. You can feast on a mountain meal in the Iron Skillet restaurant. Homemade soups and buttermilk biscuits and our world famous apple and peach chunky made here at the park await you. Or you can relax in comfort in a modern lodge room, each one tucked away with a view of the woods. The Folk Center also offers conference and meeting facilities for up to 150 guests and frequently plays host to family reunions and group tours and the prices reflect the Ozark values. The Ozark Folk Center also offers you a chance to take something of the Ozarks home. The homespun gift shop may be the hardest place to leave, from baskets to books, from birdhouses to mountain preserves, from mountain quilts to dulcimers. The Folk Center gift shop can meet your new interests. Some folks have trouble getting out of our shop, but you'll find it was a good stop. Another good stop is just 15 minutes away, the Blanchard Springs Caverns. It's one of America's most spectacular underground caverns. It's a living cave where columns and flow stones are still growing. Run by the National Forest Service, Blanchard Springs Caverns is open year round for your discovery. And close by, the spring that carved out the huge underground vaults. The spring that feeds Sillimore Creek, that's flanked by campsites, picnic grounds, and swimming beaches. And it's all just over the mountain from the Folk Center. It's a fun place. Uh, Folk Center is a people place. The craftsmen, the musicians are our product. Not what we necessarily produce, but their feelings, their love of what they do why they do it and most importantly they have a strong desire and love of sharing their caring their love of the ozark way of life with the folks that come visit us we admit it you'll have fun while you learn you'll have fun as you remember this time capsule that is the ozark folk center state park is not just a living museum dedicated to a way of life that once was it is a reflection of a way of living that still is. Come to our folk festival in the spring, to our fiddle festival in the fall. Come spend a summer weekend watching sticks change into the tools of living. Come see what we celebrate. Come to the Ozark Folk Center in Mountain View, Arkansas, because in America, there are still places like this.